A family pleads for answers following a deadly hit and run. 27-year-old John Kendrick Jr. died while biking home from his job at Amazon on October 30th. You see him there. The driver who hit him still has not been found. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with Kendrick's family, who was just celebrated on his birthday. Nearly nine months have gone by since Lisa Diggs and John Kendrick Sr. buried their 27-year-old son. John Kendrick Jr. died in a hit and run on October 30th. To lose a child is tragic, and especially at the prime of his life. I'm still waiting to grieve. Um, I haven't grieved yet because I want them to catch the killer. Loved ones say Kendrick just got off work at Amazon and was on his way home. FHP released this surveillance video showing Kendrick on his bike along Zoo Parkway near Eastport Road. We have paused the video before the light-colored Subaru SUV is seen striking Kendrick's rear tire, causing him to fall off onto the curb. Troopers say the driver circled back around, stopped, then left the scene. FHP released these two close-up photos of the car believed to be involved, but there aren't any hard leads. From what the investigator told me, he said that they did follow up every lead that did come in, and they actually located a vehicle was similar to what happened in the, in the accident. But at this time, they haven't received any new leads. Kendrick's mother lives out of state, but his father lives in Jacksonville. I have to pass where he was hit at on a daily basis, you know, so it, it's it's really hard. His parents say he was a loving, gentle giant and a great father to his daughter, who is now three. What would you just say to that driver? <sighs> they have no idea the pain that they have caused our entire family. I just beg that someone, someone knows something. You're not going to hit a person, leave them to die, and not tell someone. They're hoping someone will finally speak up so they can have peace. Corley Peel Channel 4, The Local Station. The family says Kendrick was wearing a safety vest at the time of the crash. They have messaged the mayor's office about adding more lighting in the area where he was killed. We also reached out to the city and we're waiting to hear back. Those with any information about the hit and run are urged to please contact police.